We spent a total of 13 days on the island of Langawi, Malaysia. We got to explore and do so much on the island. Here are a few things we recommend doing while visiting this island. Welcome to our channel. Join us on a budget-friendly exploration of the world's wonders. Hit subscribe and let the journey begin. We just made it to the Sunday night market. We're going to see what the local food is all about. The night markets on Langawi have so much delicious food. The night market we visited was only open on Sunday. There are several night markets in different locations on different nights, so be sure to check at least one of them out. So they don't really have seating at this market, so we came back to our moped and we're going to try to eat this really quick before potential rainstorm comes. Trevor got chicken curry. She told me this was sweet, like a dessert, so I got one of those. I also got a chicken egg fried thing. I don't know the name. Looks delicious. And then a dragon fruit juice. Since there's really no place to sit here, we're going to attempt to carry these back on the moped back to our hotel. Here we go. Somebody wants Trevor's supper. There are several beautiful waterfalls on the island. We enjoyed exploring a few of them. The hikes to the waterfall and the waterfall themselves are absolutely stunning. We just made it to the top of the highest viewpoint on Langkawi and it is absolutely stunning. The drive up here was so scenic, so beautiful. You were covered in trees and shade and it was so cool. Temperature wise, amazing. Once we got up here, Trevor looked at his map and this is actually Thailand that you can see right there in the distance. We would highly recommend this scenic drive if you're visiting the island. The beaches on the island are amazing. This is so cool! Since we rented a moped, we were able to drive to several beaches on the island. Each beach was different and unique in its own way. Our favorite was Sandy Skull Beach. It's great for relaxing and swimming. You just have to watch out for the monkeys. We took a fun sky cab ride while visiting the island. The sky cab takes you up over the jungle and has a stunning 360 degree view of the island. At the top, you were able to walk across two viewing platforms and take in the views of the island and the surrounding beauty.
movement of the bridge and the movement of the cables is unnerving. Yes, after all this time in Southeast Asia, we are still petrified of monkeys. They are in this forest. It says not to feed them, so don't have to worry about us doing that. They're waiting over there for food. Whoa! Whoa. <laughs> Thank you for watching this video. Please like and subscribe, and let us know in the comments where we should travel to next.